there's this one thing that you cannot do and you mustn't do this. And this one thing that you mustn't do is what I'm gonna be talking about in this video. Hello everyone and welcome back. I hope that you're all doing really well. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about something that you must never tell or never let the narcissist know about this. Although, do you know what? You're probably thinking, well, what is this? And why shouldn't I tell them this one thing? But believe me, you telling them is gonna make things worse. And you're probably thinking like, Anushka, how can things actually even get any worse than what they actually are. I need to do this. I need to tell them about this. But I'm gonna say to you is this, arguing or talking to someone that doesn't have understanding or doesn't, or even doesn't want understanding is a fruitless task. So you might as well argue with the war. You're gonna get a better response. You're gonna feel so much better than someone who really doesn't understand and care for what you have to say. They're not gonna understand what you are saying um, and they're not gonna take this on board. So there is no change that is going to happen. So this really is a fruitless task. But before I get into the video and talk about this actual thing that you shouldn't tell the narcissist, is that actually, do you know what guys, I do go live on this channel, usually once a week. I do try to go live once a week, but because I'm traveling and the Wi-Fi can be quite unstable at times, I can't always guarantee this. So if there is a question or there is something on your mind that you feel you want answers to, I would say join the live because you have a great chance of me actually answering your question. But if it's not me that answers the question, I have a really supportive and the most amazing community ever who are so kind, who are so compassionate, that will probably answer your question as well and provide you support. So it is great all round. So if you would like to join the live or want more information, please see the description box below. Okay, so when you find this out, when you find out, okay, that this person is toxic, is narcissistic, they display these behaviors, they make you feel like this, they do this to you, with a healthy individual, okay, this can be achieved, this can be done because this healthy person is going to listen to what you have to say, is gonna take on board what you say. But with someone who is narcissistic or has narcissism or has toxic traits, all right, this person is going to deflect. They're not going to take on board what you are saying. A healthy person or a healthy relationship, you'll wanna work through this. They will listen, they'll take on board and probably do something about it. They will take responsibility for their actions. But someone who is unhealthy, who is narcissistic, doesn't care. They don't care about this. They would rather, okay, put the blame and put everything back onto you because then you don't have to take responsibility. You don't actually have to change. You don't have to do anything about you. So when you deflect, you put the blame on someone else. You say that they are the ones that have done this. They are the ones that are like this. Usually, usually narcissists will say that you're the one that has a disorder. So the fact that you have discovered and have probably um, looked at information and the information has fit with your experience, has really resonated. And you're like, okay, great. I can tell this narcissist or, the, or this toxic individual about themselves and I can tell them that I know what has happened and I know that this is what is going on for them and this, this is gonna be the remedy and that you're gonna stay with them and you're gonna help them move through this. But my friends, if you do something like this, you will be met with rage. You will be completely ridiculed and laughed at and things will escalate, meaning that they will get worse. If you think about it, right? 
Imagine someone came up to you and said, hey, do you know what? I think that you have a personality disorder. Let alone you tell them about narcissism. You say to them, you've got a personality disorder. Do you understand the magnitude of actually those words and actually what that diagnosis means? To actually have a, a personality disorder is something very tough. It is an axis one disorder. It is something that's very hurtful. It's quite embarrassing. Who wants to admit that they've got a personality disorder? And you've got to be careful because it's, it's you know, you're coming with this information at them without any psychological proof that they actually have this and although and although my friends you are probably really right that this is what is happening this this is actually it the thing is this person isn't going to take this on lightly it's like when someone comes up to you and says do you know what i think you're a little bit crazy i think this that you're a little bit bonkers there's something not okay with you how are you going to take this information how are you going to understand this from a non-judgmental standpoint from a quite a loving place it's really hard and I'm not saying it's impossible and I'm not saying that you're doing this to put the narcissist down or be horrible to them no I get it you're not you're trying to help them. you're trying to help them move through this and you will be really supportive and do you know what on some level I think if the narcissist was to accept what you're saying and was to accept the help maybe maybe it might help them heal but the narcissist isn't going to do that they don't come from that place where they're going to look at this and think do you know what thank you so much thank you i mean no no seriously thank you for being here helping me and actually realizing that this is what is the issue here now i realize and now we can move forward and be okay in this relationship no the narcissist doesn't do things like that they don't think like that what they will do is they will deflect and this is their main kind of defense mechanism all right is about deflection and what deflection means is they put the blame onto you they will probably mirror this and say that actually you're the one that is crazy that you are the one that has a personality disorder and believe me what they will do is they will try and convince you. They will put all of this on the table and they will try and convince you and say that you're the one that is the issue. You're the one that actually has these ailments and that you need to change. And you know as well as I do that they are very convincing. You'll be met with rage. You'll be met with a really nasty side of them. And I'm going to ask you this. Do you really want that? Is it going to make a huge bit of difference, the fact that you tell them about themselves, that you tell them that you realize you know that they're not okay, but if you do this, then you will be, and you will help them, that you're going to offer them support? No. You know as well as I do that that answer is no. They are not going to take this on board, and they will hate you for it even more than they do. They will hate the fact that you have exposed them. The worst thing that you can do to a narcissist is expose them. If you do, I would say don't stick around, just go, because it's gonna be really messy. It's gonna be horrible. Because it's not the fact that they will just deflect and put the blame onto you. They will use your triggers against you. And what they do, all right, what they will do is they will make this very personal against you because they feel that they are under attack. And if they feel that they're under attack, they're going to attack you back and they'll do it 10 times as bad. And the thing is, this isn't about revenge. This isn't about you going to head to head with a narcissist and doing the same thing to them. What is the point? What is the point of playing these games with them? The best thing for you to do is just leave, just go. Because you're not going to make any difference. Any significant changes are not going to happen for the narcissist. It's like what I said, they're going to deflect. They're going to say that you're the issue and that you need to change. And actually that you need to probably go to a mental asylum. So don't tell the narcissist that you know that they are narcissistic. This is not going to end well. They're not going to take this on board. They will deflect and say that you are the issue, that you are the one that needs to change. And in between all of that, you will be met with rage. 
you will be put down and made to feel like you are insignificant, that you're the one that has the personality disorder, that you are unstable. That's usually what they will say. So guys, if you are going through this or have gone through this, please know that I do offer one-to-one -one consultations. I also have a journal club and a mentorship program. Um, and if you'd like to join them, please see the description box below. I also have a Discord server, which is absolutely free for you to join. It is a community of like-minded individuals and people who have gone through similar experiences to you. And maybe you would like to talk with people and other supportive members you know about your experience and this is a safe space for you to do that if you would like more information please see the description box below guys thank you so much for watching and please please don't ever tell a narcissist that you know they are a narcissist just don't do it see you in the next video goodbye